Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Nicole and back with another process video using the October Hip Kits. This page here is probably one of my favorites. It's uh, a really, really fun one. It's actually inspired by the mood board for October for Hip Kits. I'm um, starting off here with this pink paisley background paper. It's like a grid paper. And I've cut some feathers from the cut files. This was one of the cut files I designed for Hip Kits for October. And part of the mood board is these these D's dipped I'm gonna call them gold dipped acorns and I really like that idea so I decided I would do that to my feathers with some gold embossing powder and my disclaimer is that I am NOT an embossing expert I'm actually really not great at it at all um, so I ended up doing this a few times so you can see I've just this is American Crafts uh, gold zing embossing powder and I'm just going over and over again a couple times in the same area um, while it's kind of wet still, I'm adding more embossing powder just to get a couple layers um, onto it. You can see just to fill it in. I'm not an expert at it, but I do love the effect. I love this gold embossing powder. It's the one I probably use all the time. I don't really use a lot of embossing, but this is one that it looks so slick when you have it on something. I really, really like it. Really good effect. So yeah, so I just did that to the bottom of my feather. So that was one of the aims from the mood board. And then the other thing I did was I took the happy out of the Ashley Horton background cut file and I added it to a rectangle here to make like a bit of a photo map for my photo. Um, and I only chose this photo of myself because it kind of matches the papers in the kit, which is kind of a, a weird move. But, you know, that's truthfully, I had this picture and I looked kind of happy that day. So the colors went, so bam, there you go. And yeah, so I'm just going to add these feathers here to the left side of my page. And my idea is that I'm going to use these frames. These are the pebbles frames. Um, there's some frames and then die cuts in that pack um, for the top part of my page. Now, frames were also part of the mood board. So um, kind of goes along with that. And I did like this journaling card here that was in that frame die cut set. So I'm going to add that in as part of my project. And I'm just really trying to sort through, there's so many things, like look at how many things are in that one little package. Just trying to sort through all the goodness and decide what little bits I want to use and what I don't. So I'm just tucking some away. Um, I did die cut an arrow there from the cut files. I think that was my cut file that I designed. And then I went with one of these blue um, cedarling arrows, which are super cute. I think I said that in my last video, but they're super cute. And yeah, so I'm going to layer these frames. You can see I have a few different ones here. I thought I would add one behind my photo, but it just didn't work out. Um, so I'm going to add some frames. And then I decided I'm just going to chop off some little bits of paper and layer that in behind um, the open areas of the frame. At first, I thought I would do it behind that pink there. And then I decided that I just wanted some of that navy floral brought into the page, as navies are really great neutral. And so I'm going to add some of that here to that stripey frame and of course I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of my photo to pop it up because that's just what I do people it's just I don't know why I have this problem I really can't just stick the photo down on the page anymore now that I started adding foam adhesive it's like an addiction of some sort um, I really can't even explain it but I also grabbed my Prima watercolor pencils and I just used some of the lighter shades. This is like a bit of a peachy kind of pink kind of color and it reminds me of that washed pink that is in the um, kit there on that paper there on that one feather. So I'm just adding some little bits of that and I just rubbed, I don't know if you saw that, but I just rubbed my pencil there on an acrylic block and add a little bit of water and then I'm going to add some teal here and behind my happy. And that's how I kind of do that. I'm not a, a really great expert with these, um, but I really like these watercolor pencils. We had them in a kit a few months ago, a different palette. And to be honest, they're one of my favorite color add-on items. So if you didn't get the color add-on yet, I think you should because it's something you'll use. And I think those pencils are probably going to last you a long time because they're pretty big and you get this wonderful pack of them. And that's my public service announcement for today. Uh, what else? So yeah, I added that other arrow. I layered it kind of on top and then I'm going to go ahead here and add those feathers in. 
And yeah, I'm going to pop dot everything just up so these feathers end up being the same kind of height as my photo. Because it would seem funny that they would hang off my photo and then just be flat on my background. That just doesn't make sense to me. And then really from here, it's just a lot of embellishing. 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 We don't say that in Canada. We don't say embellishing. I know people think Canadians talk funny, but uh, embellishing is not one of them. Anyway, I'm in a weird mood today, as you can tell. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add these frames, and I'm going to stick it, start sticking things down and commit. And a lot of this page is just little bits here and there, which is kind of the way I normally scrapbook. I end up leaving the whole bottom of this page wide open um, and not filling it up. I just want to leave the bottom space empty because the top part where all those frames are are going to be pretty full. I'm just going to grab a little piece of this paper and layer it behind my frame, and then I'm going to trim the excess frames off my page because um, I know I'm not going to obviously use them. You can see that there. And I go to this Pebbles, is it called paper tape, washi tape? It's basically washi tape. But I ripped them in half lengthwise, so they're skinnier and kind of torn look, and I tuck those in behind some of the frames just to add a bit of another layer there. And I kind of like how that looks. And it's so easy just to rip off a piece if you don't like it, right? So smart. And what I like about this Pebbles ones um, is there's a washi tape in the kit last month from Dear Lizzie, and I love the patterns on that one. But the truth is, this is the truth, the book was awesome, and the, I love the patterns, like I said, but it's small. It's like six inches or eight inches long. And what if you want to do a whole page, like a whole row or something? So I really like this one because you uh, get that whole length issue going. So if you have some a larger area you want to cover. Um, so I do like this one. And the fact that this has lots of gold in it still appeals to me, even though I know the gold thing, some people might be over it. Um, I think it's still good in as a good neutral in, in little bits here and there. I do think silver's making a comeback, though, truth be told. Anyway, I'm going to add some flowers here because just because it's fall, it wasn't really fall on my page when I took the photo. So I'm just going to add a few of these really pretty floral shapes from the Pebbles Collection die cut tag pack. And this is the first time I actually opened up this Cedar Lane embellishment pack. And I nearly screamed with giddiness because I didn't realize there's so many good bits in there. You get those clear shapes like I have right there. And then there's all the die cuts. And I think had I opened that first and taken a really good look before I started doing the page, I probably would have had this page go in a completely different route. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in there. So I'm just going to grab some of these little arrows to kind of continue that theme. And I, I kind of play around with some of the words and I even grab some of the die cuts and oh, maybe I can use this tag and these words. And then I got excited because there's glitter tags and oh my gosh, there's like mint, which I love mint and... I love tabs to put up with photos. and Oh, the grateful, that would work great. So I just kind of seriously went a little nutso and grabbed just a whole bunch of things that spoke to me really quickly. And added, I'm going to add those to my page. So just cutting the little tiny nibs off the uh, grateful there. I don't like those, if you've ever seen them on die cuts, they're little, I call them nibs, the little tiny white pokey things that are sometimes around the edge of die cuts. It bothers me, it drives me crazy, so I have to trim them down. And then I grabbed this gold sticker ampersand from the Pebble sticker pack that's in the kit. And I'm just going to kind of layer that in there for part of my title. And bam, that was easy. I'm not really good at titles, so that was too easy for me. And then I'm running these clear embellishments through my Xyron X sticker maker. It's my favorite way to add those clear embellishments. So I'm just going to add those in. And you can't even tell that there's adhesive on the back. So that's fun. I'm going to add that to my photo. I'm going to add this arrow here. And I think I'm going to add this just over in the corner. And I think for the most part, this page is almost done. Uh, I do want to add a little bit of the mint here color over to this right side of the page. And the fact that this has gold glitter polka dots. If, if a tag were to say Nicole, that would be it. Mint, green, gold polka dots. See, I told you I was in a very weird mood today. Okay, so let's stick all these flowers down, and you know what? I would normally sew a whole bunch on this page, but I really didn't, which is kind of a shocker in itself that uh, you know, I didn't sew those frames because I think when I envisioned using a bunch of frames on this page, um, that's what I thought I was going to do, but I didn't do that, So, which is weird for me.
And then I grab these puffy stickers. All this pink Paisley Cedar Lane is so honestly such a great collection. I really, really liked working with it. And I'm just going to try to pick a couple different words here out of this um, mini alpha set, but it doesn't kind of work out. So I end up putting some of those back and then grabbing another one. Anyway, putting that off to the side. And then I realized, oh, there's this clear packaging part from that die cut pack. And that would be perfect for my scribbling on with the watercolor pencils. So I'm actually going to keep that and use that instead of my acrylic block because then my acrylic block is sometimes dirty from stamping because I don't really clean it properly. So yeah, that packaging is perfect because it's kind of flat. And it's perfect for that. So I'm going to keep that with my watercolor pencils so that next time I don't have this problem. And I'm just going to add some wood veneer. And I believe I even add a few enamel dots. Have I added any enamel dots yet? And then I play around with some twine. I have some. I like this May Arts twine. It's, it's in my stash. I have like a big spool of it actually at my local scrapbook store. The crap, scrapbook cottage. Hi, Sharon. And, um, I bought from her and it's great. It matches like everything. So if you're looking for a nice twine, you don't want to have like 50 different different colors. I recommend that one. And then I grab some of these pink paisley um, clear stickers and you get like gold and white and black all in one package. So they're super fun. So I just added a couple of those in there just to kind of fill in some of those empty little bits that are there. And what else did I do? Oh, I trimmed these little pencils. There's these little tiny gold pencils in the sticker pack there down on the bottom. And because I hadn't done any stitching yet, I thought, oh, you know what, if I was going to sew, I'd probably sew some vertical lines up and down throughout. But I ended up just trimming the pointy part of the pencil off and adding them to my page instead. And I kind of like that. It kind of works for me. So, yeah, and then I played around with these. I wanted to get some teal on here to go with that mint. So I added my age, 41, cough, cough. And I will not be 41 much longer. So that makes me a little bit sad. Because I remember how sad I was turning 40, and now I'm going to be 42. Anyway, I'm going to add a couple enamel dots. These are the Heidi Swap enamel dots in the kit. And yeah, I think that pretty much finishes off my page. This one was a really fun one. This is, uh, I really like how this turned out. So here's just a sneak peek close up of those gold dipped feathers. I really like how that worked out. And I really love all the collection of the embellishments in these kits, you guys. These kit, this kit is a keeper. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Here's my layout. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to follow more of my work, you can do that over at my blog or my digital cut file store, justnick.myshopify.com. And please check out my class with Big Pager Classes called Stitch It. I'll leave a link in the bottom. Have a great day.